So here's a quick note from my man cave. I'm on my iPhone again and I've got my notes just on the screen behind so you'll see me looking away from <laughs> time to time. I went to the BBC proms yesterday at the Royal Albert Hall in London and I went specifically to see, to hear, Berg's Violin Concerto. Alban Berg. Berg. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. It should be more like Berg. Berg. That doesn't work for me, so Berg it's going to have to be. Some people find this music difficult because there are no tunes. <laughs> but like a book, I find it it's a bit of a page turner and I just want to keep going from moment to moment. It just sweeps me through all the way through. <laughs> it, for, to me, it's fantastic. And yesterday it was performed by Leela Josephowitz. And I am pronouncing that correctly. Leela Josephowitz. She's Canadian. And I'm going to play you a 24 second clip that I've edited. Leela's a very physical performer and you really have to see her perform. It's fantastic. It's much, I know it's much better than just hearing her, but it's, it's the whole experience as well as hearing her. She does tend to stamp her feet every now and she does tend to stamp her feet every now and then, a bit like Nigel Kennedy. And you will hear her doing that at six seconds into this clip. Let's hear it. <laughs> Let's hear it. Love it. Anyway, the uh, the point of this little uh, note from the man cave is that sometimes you have to suffer for your art. Uh, it's my audience that has to suffer for my particular art. So here's a close-up of Leela, and what you'll see is uh, a mark just on her collarbone, just here, and another mark just on her chin, here. And this is through the simple act, the physical act of playing, of, of holding the violin. So the violin rests on the on the collarbone here and because she doesn't use a shoulder rest she seems to be clamping it down with her chin there hence these marks which I'm sure medical people would call lesions and it all does look rather uncomfortable this isn't um, peculiar to Leela other violinists have this as well uh, Nicola Benedetti for instance uh, she has um, I nearly said it was a, a huge mark but that's a bit impolite isn't it she's got a significant mark just on her collar, collarbone here Men don't seem to suffer from this problem, and that's because they're dressed all the way up to the neck, so they've got, <laughs> they've got some protection there. And there's no pressing need for male violinists to be attractive, so they can cushion the violin with their double... <laughs> Let me get the words right. Men have no pressing need to be attractive, so they can cushion the violin with their double chin. Let's hear that clip again. See you soon.